Hello, I'm Christopher Smith, District 1 Assistant Fisheries Biologist with the Inland Fisheries Division. Today, I will give an overview of the management of Roanoke River striped bass and briefly touch on our striped bass surveys on the Roanoke River. Roanoke River striped bass support a popular recreational fishery. This fishery contributes approximately $1.7 million to North Carolina's economy. The effective management of this population is critical to maintaining the fishery. Roanoke River striped bass are migratory. They move from the coastal waters of the Atlantic Ocean through Oregon Inlet and into the Albemarle Sound. They then make approximately 130 mile journey up the Roanoke River to the spawning grounds near Weldon, North Carolina. Due to their migratory nature, and because the Wildlife Resource Commission only manages fish in inland waters, Roanoke River striped bass are jointly managed by the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries in the Albemarle Sound and the Wildlife Resource Commission in the Roanoke River. Harvest season on the Roanoke River is from March 1st through April 30th, with an annual harvest limit of 68,750 pounds. This season may be shortened or extended via proclamation to keep harvest at or below our annual limit. This season also aims to focus harvest on male fish, which generally arrive on the spawning grounds before females. There's an 18 inch minimum limit and a protective slot limit from 22 to 27 inches. This minimum length limit allows a portion of the population to reach maturity before being harvested, while the slot limit protects six to eight year old females from harvest. This is critical because these fish can produce upwards of 380,000 eggs per individual. There's a daily creel limit of two fish per person. Only one can be larger than 27 inches. This allows anglers the opportunity to harvest a trophy fish without negatively impacting the population. To monitor striped bass population, we conduct electrofishing surveys from mid-April through the end of May on the spawning grounds near Weldon, North Carolina. We conduct six to eight shoreline samples per week, with each sample lasting approximately 20 minutes of electrofishing time. Once dipped, the fish are placed into an oxygenated holding tank until they are worked up. This survey collects population and biological data, such as relative abundance, length structure, age structure, weight, and sex ratio. During our electrofishing survey, we also partner with the Division of Marine Fisheries to insert reward tags into each fish. Results from our 2016 electrofishing surveys show that anglers are more likely to catch fish of legal size between 18 and 22 inches. Very few fish above 27 inches were captured during our surveys. The 2016 spawning population is made up of four and five year old fish. These fish are about 18 to 22 inches. While our regulations are implemented to protect older fish, factors such as river discharge, spawning success, and harvest in the Albemarle Sound impact our spawning population. We also conduct angler surveys at boat ramps along the Roanoke River from March through May. This survey is critical as it allows us to monitor our annual harvest. During this survey, we also collect biological and economic data, such as weight of the fish, length, sex, and estimates of anglers' expenditures on things such as bait and tackle, boat gas, food, drinks, and lodging. In 2016, we interviewed about 2,300 anglers who spent over 235,000 hours fishing for striped bass on the Roanoke River. 14% of our anglers were from Wake County, while 11% were from Martin and 9% from Halifax. Out-of-state anglers made up 8% of our interviews. On average, anglers spent approximately $112 per fishing trip to the Roanoke River. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed learning about how we manage Roanoke River striped bass. If you have any questions or would like more information, please feel free to contact me.